The Foglia Family Residential Treatment Center, to me personally, means a lot to not only the health system but our community. Currently, a lot of our patients have to travel outside of our community and oftentimes out of the state to receive this essential level of care. By having the services available here in our own community, they'll be able to, one, not only have to travel, but also have that support of their community and their family members alongside them throughout their course of treatment. I'm delighted for the opening, and as the days count down, I think of the years that counted down and the thoughts that went into designing this, getting support, working with our foundation, and ultimately being able to do something that has been a dream for not just me, but for a lot of people here. You know, when I think about the Residential Treatment Center, it's something that we have considered for almost as many years as I, as I can remember. We've always believed, I think with very good reason, that having the availability of a Residential Treatment Center was really critical for the long-term care of many of our patients who, for any number of reasons, really don't have the resources after discharge that they need. But there's also a benefit, if you will, to having people being able to stay in your health system because of continuity of care, the same physicians, the same clinicians. Those types of benefits, I think, create a better outcome in general. This really supports and complements the work that we're already doing and have historically done in the system. There are no providers that I know of in the country or the world who are doing this type of care, um, treating both primary addictions and OCD and anxiety together in one program. Um, so I think that we offer something that's very needed. I'm very excited also about the dedication that we have to an evidence-based type of therapy. Uh, this is not going to be just, well, we'll try it out and see how it goes. We are really dedicated to being sure that the work that we're doing is not only going to be helpful, we're going to test to make sure that it's helpful. We will collect data pre and post on every one of our patients to make sure that what we're providing is useful to them. The therapies that we have already decided to utilize within the residential center are based on sound scientific evidence, and we have that already as really the underpinning of all the work that we're going to do. As we open this residential, I believe that we are really adding this missing component uh, as far as our treatment modalities that can really help people who are struggling the most, and uh, this will help them get into a 24-hour structured environment and get uh, the intensive care that they need when they're struggling with uh, these conditions. For our greater treatment community, um, the wait times are oftentimes very long for people to access a residential level of care. By expanding upon the number of beds that are available, patients will be able to access the residential level of care in a much more timely and efficient manner. Right now, if you have an anxiety disorder, the closest treatment provider is about four hours away. So now to be able to have somebody who can offer a residential level of service right here in the area, I think we'll get a lot of buy-in and it will also take away that excuse from somebody who says it's too far to go and I can't be that far from my family or something like that. I think from my experience I've definitely encountered patients in the past that have definitely met criteria for OCD and I have never seen it treated in such a targeted way with ERP like we are doing here under the leadership and guidance of Dr. McGrath that will lead to symptom reduction and relief. We've dedicated ourselves to some of the most technological advances in therapeutic technology in terms of our virtual reality suite that we will have. So we will be able to bring veterans into a virtual environment that will mimic some of the things that maybe they experienced while they were in a war scene area or a flyover or something like that. And why would we do that? We want people to learn how to handle their memories, their nightmares, and their flashbacks. It's easy to tell somebody not to think of something. It would be nice if that worked. What really works is teaching somebody how to live with a memory so that that memory doesn't overwhelm them anymore. And our VR clinic will be able to do that. We're going into what always seems to be un uncertain times in, in healthcare, but here we are expanding. We're adding 48 more beds to the health system in a time when other places are looking to contract, get smaller, tighten up, and yet we continue to look for opportunities to expand and to grow and to really meet the needs of a specific population that has asked for this for a long time. Foglia is an, a perfect extension of what the brothers have done for eight centuries. 
and that is caring for people that everyone else has turned their back on. What we want to do, irrespective of the diagnosis, is to provide every patient that has a need for residential treatment an avenue through which that can be provided. That is very, very exciting.